Well, hello again, everyone. It's Rose, and I'm back with another unboxing. This is the second of six unboxings from the Uyijia store on AliExpress. Now, this store was brought to my attention, I think, I think it might have been by Jessica on Tiny Worlds of Wonder because she was doing a diamond painting that I really, really like. And this was the store that she got it from, if I am remembering correctly. And I may not be remembering correctly, so just be warned. Okay, so I'm just uh, trying to get into this thing. Now, the last canvas that I unboxed earlier this morning was, um, I mean, it was a beautiful canvas. The drills were absolutely gorgeous, but the canvas was a little weird um, because the, oh, okay. I call this one Blue Dream. Uh, Okay, this one is exactly the same kind of weird as the one that I opened earlier today. All right, so I call it Blue Dream, and I'll show you why. I'll show you, um, I'll insert a picture, but here's the, uh, the thumbnail that comes on the inventory sheet. So this one has 40 colors, the last one had 38 colors. So I like the fact that these have a lot of colors. And this one is also 60 by 80 centimeters. I thought I had started ordering smaller diamond paintings with this order, but I think I just ordered a couple of smaller diamond paintings in this order. So, I mean, here are the drills. We're gonna look at them in detail a little bit later. But for now, there you go. Okay. So they wrap the canvas in the bubble wrap and then they wrap it in cling wrap, saran wrap, whatever you want to call it. Um, plastic sticky wrap. And it's always hard to find where it starts, but I think I found it. Okay, so let's just get this off and then we'll take a look at this weird little canvas. Well, it's not a little canvas, that's for sure. Um, but it is as small as they could possibly make it and give me um, a 60 by 80 canvas. Wow, they, they were not shy on the cling wrap. All right, there we go. Now, again, this is um, it's just covered in white, and this one also has one, two, three, four, five sheets. These sheets look like they're about two inches wide. The adhesive, this one looks like two and a half, and then we get into this one which looks like it's about eight, and another one that's about eight. Um, so let us take a look at the canvas from the back. So there we go, the foam roller took the brunt of any indignities suffered by this package in transport. Um, so this, as I mentioned, this is part of a six canvas order that I made. Um, they shipped the two big ones together and they shipped the four smaller ones together. At least I sure hope they're smaller. Anyway, all right. So um, this is another perfect canvas. Perfect. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this canvas. There's no bubbling, there's no rivers, there's nothing wrong with this canvas. Um, the only thing that's a little weird about the canvas, it's the same thing that was a little weird about the one that I opened earlier today. And I will show you exactly what that is. That is that these kits are made to be within, I'd say that's about two millimeters 
of the edge of um, the drill field. So let's just let's just measure that. No, those are inches. Let's go to centimeters. Okay, so I've got the three lined up with the. Hold on. I've got the three lined up. Whoop, nope, I had it lined up with the cutting guide for the canvas. That's two millimeters. That's all the clearance they give you on the other side of the canvas. And that is the same over here. Oops. Hold on, let me just... Like, the adhesive literally goes to the very edge of the canvas. There is no part of this canvas on this side that doesn't have adhesive on it, which is... I just find that really weird. And again, I think this is actually less than two millimeters. Let's measure, shall we? All right. Um, hold on. Let's line up that two with the cutting guide. Okay. And yeah, well, two millimeters. So there's not a lot of clearance that's given on the edge of the canvas. I'm just straightening this out a little bit. Okay, um, and like I did this morning, or as I did this morning, uh, I'm going to open this on the floor because it's just, I don't think I can really get a good, well, maybe I can give you a good view on the coffee table. All right, let's try this. I will reorient, I will reorient the um, camera and I will shoot from where I'm standing so that you can see the full glory of this diamond painting. Now what I'm going to do first though is just, um, it's curling a little bit at the bottom. So I just want to flatten that out and to do that I'm just lifting the paper. I got myself a bone folder on AliExpress. I think it cost me like, I don't know, two bucks or something like that. But uh, it's bigger than my pop, than my uh, tongue depressors were. And it kind of works the same. I'm, I'm having a little bit of trouble adjusting to it. Today's the first day I'm using it. Um, but, uh, like I say, it's, it's, it's nice. I don't regret buying it. And it just helps me lay down the paper or the plastic on diamond paintings a little bit straighter and to push out air bubbles. Okay. All right. So let me move things around a little bit here, reorient you. All right. I don't usually like to be in the frame when I'm doing this, but oh well, needs must, right? Okay, so let's pull this back. I'm going to start on this side because there's essentially no part of the canvas that I can uncover that isn't glued, except for about one centimeter at the top here that has no adhesive on it, and a centimeter at the very bottom. Now, I don't want this to come completely off. So. All right, those, I, I gotta say, the, the blues on the canvas look absolutely beautiful. And I'm seeing the same sorts of symbols as I saw this morning uh, when I unboxed the, um, the Nature Goddess. I really don't want to pull this off because I don't want to fuss with trying to line it back up again. So I'll just pull it back to, you know, within an inch or two at the bottom of the painting. There we go. All right. So. 
So, all right, so there we go. I don't know what you can see, and I don't know how good the light is. I had to close the blinds because it was just too hot in here. The sun is shining in the front window, and this is the front room, so it was just really hot. Okay, wow. That is really lovely. Looking at it straight on uh, with my eyes. Now I'm going to look at it through the viewfinder of the camera. Oh, okay. I need to rearrange that a little tiny bit. Wow, it's even nicer looking at it through the camera. Holy smokes. All right. I'm already really, really happy with this. And yes, it's very wonky that the drill field extends to the very edge of the canvas. But you know what? I can deal with that. Oh my goodness. But it is no, there's, there's like no forgiveness for anything that gets on the canvas. Okay, I'm going to take you out of the holder now. And I'm going to show you the drill field and the legend. And then we're going to do the uh, review of the drills and we'll see whether everything looks good. There's my Frida pillow. I love my Frida pillow. Okay, I'm, I've been looking for that painting that that pillow is based on. I can't find it. All right, so let's take a look. Here is the legend. Now those, I'll just show you uh, next to my thumb. Those are really large symbols in the legend. Um, not so large on the canvas. And these are also really, really intricate symbols. I'll show you when we get down to some. Like, for example, number 10. Where the heck is number 10? Okay, number 10 here. Like that, I would call that skis. Um, well, and that, what the heck is that? I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to call that number 10 skis. And it's like two little lines. So let's see. It looks like, hold on, that's, yeah, that's the ski there. Oh, sorry, I've got you blown up, so it's very hard to, any little tiny movement I make um, is going to shake the camera anyway. Yeah, okay, so we've got a lot of lines and things like that. I'm going to call number 27 Dumbbell. 30 is Saturn. 31 I'm going to call, I don't know, Mercury or something. I don't know, unless I come across something that's more Mercury. Oh, look, one of these things is not like the others. There's a number one in a box. Okay, all right, so it doesn't have all the same symbols as the one that I just opened, but it's kind of the same sort of pictogram type things. So let's take a look at how they translate onto the cam canvas. Oh my goodness, look at that thumbnail. That is gonna be absolutely stunning if those are the actual colors, and I'm sure they are, uh, but we'll see soon enough. All right, so again, I'm gonna blow you up a little bit. So you cannot get a canvas that is any clearer than this in terms of the printing. And let me tell you, it is super sticky. Um, I don't see that these symbols are confusing. Um, let's see. I think they'll be fine. So 33 is a down arrow. Number six is an up arrow. They're both blue. And so I don't like that. And then we've got number 12, whoops, which is a left facing arrow. And number 39 is a right facing arrow. But at least they're different colors. Number 33 and number six, the two, the up and down blue arrows, uh, those are gonna be a problem for me and I'll tell you why. Because I always work my canvases, um, I do the, the top nine inches first and then I flip the diamond painting upside down 
and I do the bottom. So I think what I'm actually going to, uh, no, I don't want to work the whole thing upside down. So yeah, so I'll do the, the top ones first. And so what that means is that for all of those arrow symbols, I have to be super, super careful that I'm using the right symbol, especially for those blue arrows. Yeah, okay, so here we see. Let's take a look at her face. Let me pull away. Oh yeah, that's gonna be just fine. That's gonna be just fine. Like, you know, when you get in this close, it's super pixelated and it's like, what the heck is that? But as soon as you start pulling away, it is absolutely clear what that is. These colors are beautiful. And I love the fact that it's got that oval sort of frame to the main part of the picture. That's really, really nice. Yeah, that's really, really nice. Okay, I fell in love with this when I saw it. And I am still in love with this. Again, wonky canvas in terms of not really having much of an edge to it. But that's okay. I'm all right with that. Um, I'm okay with that. As long as the drills turn out well, that is not going to be a problem. Oh my goodness, I love this. Absolutely love it. I've been into like Asian motif for the last little while. And I've had to restrain myself from buying more Asian art type stuff. Well, stuff that at least evokes a sense of Asia for me. Uh, maybe that's not what this is, but to me that, that reminds me of, I don't know, Arabian Nights or something like that. Anyway, um, I will not wax poetic anymore. I'm going to put you back in the holder. I'm going to cover this beautiful lady up, let her sleep some more, and then I will... Uh, be right back with you with um, the drills and we'll do the drills okay so uh, I wasn't going to show you this part but they also um, cover the bag that holds the diamonds with uh, cling wrap so again that helps protect everything that's inside and at first glance, I see no loose drills, which is good. Okay, I'm not going to use that bag. I don't like those bags. It's way too big. So I'm going to be putting my drills in a Ziploc bag. So the first thing I do, just make sure that you can see what I'm doing. You don't need uh, that stuff. Okay. okay. So I'm going to get comfortable here. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do, besides make sure that you can see everything that I'm doing, is uh, I'm going to label my diamond painting because I keep these in alphabetical order in my ready to start uh, binder. This, I think, uh, I numbered all my diamond paintings the other night, and this I think is my 143rd diamond painting that I've ordered. 43rd or 145th, something like that. Anyway, uh, I'm definitely in the 150s now. Uh, okay, so this is um, Blue Dream. It's 60 by 80 square. Yep. And it's from the Uchi. Factory store, Luigi factory store. Okay, so let us start counting. Okay, first first impressions. I'm just gonna show you. First impressions is that these colors are to die for. I am so happy I ordered this diamond painting. Wow. All right, so let's start right here. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine,
704. So that's plus two, two more than I needed. Um, and, oh, okay, I have a bag that's ripped open and it looks like it's one of the 704 bags. Um, okay. Yeah, it looks like 704. Uh, well, that kind of sucks, but that's okay. We'll sort it out. We'll sort it out. Let me get a, another bag. So when I have loose drills, oh, and I think there might be another another one that has loose drills too. Uh, we'll see. Okay, uh, when I have loose drills, I put the entire set of drills of that color in whoops, um, in a little plastic sandwich bag, a fold over sandwich bag. And I use the fold over sandwich bags because I'm too cheap to buy um, Ziploc bags for this. I use Ziploc bags to store entire sets of drills, but not for individual um, colors. So actually I do have, eh, I do have bags that are the right size for this little or Ziploc, little or Ziplocs, but that's okay. I, I've got this one out now, so we're just going to, we're just going to go with it. Yeah, there's one of these bags, it's cracked open, ripped open, whatever. Okay, there we go. So let's just put in there, move this over. All right, um, and I'm going to do the other one that has a tear. I don't know if it's this one. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Okay. Um, that is number 741. Okay, so 741. I have one, two, three, four, five bags. So that's a plus one. I need another little bag. Here we go. I just have like a Ziploc bag that contained a toolkit before. And I keep all of these bags because they're good for stuff like this. So there's 741. Set that aside. Uh, okay. 742. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That's also plus one. Um, and just looking at these drills, I see absolutely nothing wrong with them. I don't see trash. I don't see tabs on them. I don't see little nubbins. I see teeny tiny little dimples on the bottom of some of them. But I have not yet been convinced that dimples are a problem. I am going to um, do a dimpled diamond painting soon because I want to test that to see whether um, whether they are a problem but uh, I'm not going to be doing that just now okay so that was 742 did I mark it off yeah I did okay good then this is 677 and I like to keep all of my uh, drills of one color in a single ribbon so let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, six, seven, sevens. Okay, so they gave me three extra. Seven oh two. Okay, I gotta say, Vivo, I love this green. This is such a beautiful green. Wow. Wow. Okay, and the drills look, again, perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, I'm liking the fact that so far, every color has given me extra drills. 
554. Uh, I need 310. They gave me at least 400. So they did give me two bags. I should have just kept silent. Okay, 729. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And once again, these look really good. 729. So that's a plus one. 798. So this, I call it Blue Dream, but this is more like a, I don't know. I don't know what color that is. Periwinkle, lilac. It's a little dark to be lilac, but it's it's really pretty. Really, really pretty. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, seven ninety-eight. 30, 31, 798. What? Don't tell me they didn't give me enough. No. <laughs> All right. So, 7.98. I had 30 here. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. I only need 31. So, uh, I got, or I need 32. So, I got a plus 4 on that. And I just need to, the perforations on these, they're cuts as opposed to little perforations. So um, that's why the, the bags are separating from each other. Because they're cut all the way, almost all the way through. Okay. And then here we have 791. One. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, look at this incredible color. 518. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. These colors are just so perfect. So, so perfect. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. So, okay, these are, these are coming apart. Oops. See? Okay. Now, I'm doing this the long way because many of you have told me you love the way I do inventory. So, those of you who don't like the way I do inventory, skip it. Go to, you know, two or three minutes before the end of the video. And I should be wrapped up by then. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. 518. Another plus 4. Wow. All right. I'm liking this. Uh, this is 797. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Wow, plus four. Okay. Wow. I'm going to have so many extra drills unless these bags are underfilled. 38, 46. I need two. I've got two. But there's probably about 200 or 200. Well, there's probably about 220 drills in each of these bags. So I'm going to have 200 drills left over. So that's great. Seven ninety four. One, two, three. Whoops. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That's seven ninety four. 
this one. 517, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And I'm just saying, six, no, 517. Did I say 16? I think I did. Plus 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, 15, so it's plus 2. That's 5. Still. Way more than I need. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to tell you that I have not seen any bad drills. I haven't seen any drills that have pits in the top. I haven't seen any cup drills. I haven't seen any tabs. I have not seen any trash. Uh, like, you know, little bits of, of resin. I have not seen uh, uneven drills. I have not seen anything weird. The only thing that I've noticed is that there are little dimples in a lot of these, um, which we'll see if that's a problem, but I don't think it is. Okay, one, two, three, and four of the 550. 371, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, 371. I don't know what Pippi's upset about. We just came back from a walk outside. It's very warm. All right, three, eight, three, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Three, eight, three, five, so that's a plus one. 564, the last kit also had 564 and they also came in this different packaging. So I don't know if the quality of these drills will be any different. They don't look different. They look exactly the same. Um, but these are more like the ribbons that uh, come with like a Cess Deals or a, a Peggy Buy diamond painting, except that they're square drills instead of the predominantly round drills that you get from those companies. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 564, that's plus 1. Alright, 152, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 318, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 318. More than well, that's more than twenty percent extra, and there's probably twenty percent extra already in each one of these bags. Okay, so one fifty four, one two three four. I'm gonna set that aside because I can't believe that they would not have sent me uh, enough. I'm supposed to have five bags. Uh, I'm not gonna fuss about it if they didn't because I have so many 154s in my stash and I've got different hues of 154 and I know I have this hue because I just organized my stash of leftover drills a couple of nights ago and um, and I know I've got a bunch of 154s. Okay, 964. Supposed to have 14 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. 9, 9 64. Did I say 16? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, and 16 plus 2. All right. 38, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, 38, 10. Plus 2. Ooh, this is pretty too. 958. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
Oh, look at this. Oh, this looks oil. This is, oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. This is so, 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 so beautiful. This is 820. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Seventeen. So that's plus two. This is seven ninety six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty one. Twenty one. Seven ninety six. Plus three. This is seven ninety two. Oh, that's another eight twenty. Uh, all right, there's my 20s. Here we go. There's another 820 plus one. Okay, 792. What's this? That's 797. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 792 plus 1. 797. What? What? 797. I already counted 797. There were already four extra. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is this is like an embarrassment of riches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus seven more. Holy jeez. Oh, man. Okay. Somebody has to go back to Sesame Street because they need to learn to count. But this is good for me, so I'm not complaining. Okay, this is... 890, I think. Yeah, 890, and I need three, and I've got three. I'm going to have way a whole bunch of extras, so I'm not concerned. 898, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of the 898, 920, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. This is another just stunning color. Just stunning. Okay, 996. One, two, and I know it's 996 and not 966 because all of the bags have the sealed edge on the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of 996. Okay. So this is 3766, also a very pretty color. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, 3766. Oh, plus 2. Alright. 832. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Looks like 310, but it's not. It, these are all 939s. All right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And what are these lovelies? These are 824s. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 of the 824. All right. And I haven't been remarking on it, but I have been looking for trash or oily drills or staticky drills or anything that you know is of concern to me about the quality of the drills. I'm not seeing anything of concern to me. So we're getting close to the end here. All right, let's see. 3822, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, I'm loving this company. Loving this company. Um, 9.59. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Oh, did I see trash? Did I see trash? Nope. Nope. False alarm. No trash. Nope. It's all good. Wow. That's really amazing. Okay. And I marked it off. Yes, I did. Okay, so this looks like 820. Oh, no, it's 3750. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 3750 plus 1. Okay. Um, and then we have this very, very pale whitish green. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen, thirty-seven, fifty-six. So that's a plus two. All right. All right. Oh. Oh. Um. All right. So I'm looking at the inventory, and. Uh, much to my surprise, I'm looking on the floor just to see whether I dropped a couple of bags because, um, surprise, surprise, I'm missing one bag of the 154. Um... And unless I didn't count it, I'm missing eight bags of five of um, four thirteen. So I'm going to put these away in my um, Ziploc bag, um, and I will let you know at the end if I found that four thirteen. Well. Okay, everybody, so I have um, gone through everything. I've put everything away in the Ziploc, and I am uh, missing the four bags of uh, 154, and I'm missing eight bags of 413. So um, I'm going to hold off until I finish opening all six of the diamond paintings in this order. And, um, and then I'm gonna put in an order for the missing drills because while I do have enough 154s to make up what's missing, I don't think I have enough 413s. Let me just check. No, I don't have enough. This is all I've got left. That's maybe, I don't know, two bags. So yeah, I need, I need more. I need more. And so just, just as a little added bonus, uh, you get to see how I store my uh, leftover drills. So if the colors of uh, the drills are the same from one kit to another, I just stick the label onto a bag. And so I know I've got, you know, leftover drills from one, two, three, four kits here. Uh, but then, when I get something like this, I got 415. This is a um, this is a hula cam. 
And this is from some other company, I don't know which one. But when you take a look at those, hold on. Um, they're not the same, they're not the same color. Uh, this one has a little bit more blue to it, the one in the back. This one's a little bit grayer. So I wouldn't mix those two together. And so the next time I get a diamond painting that I'm short of four fifteens, what I do is I will, you know, match it to whichever one of these is best. If, uh, you know, if I just need a few and that way I won't, you know, need to put the diamond painting aside while I wait for the company to send me extra drills. I only need to do, you know, to set it aside. If in fact, um, I don't have enough spares to finish it. And that does happen if they forget to send a whole color, like for 413 here. So, okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I will write a little note to myself. And I'm just showing you how I do this. Um, let's sing. One bag of 154, eight bags of 413. Okay, and I'm just going to keep track on a separate sheet of paper. And uh, this is Regia, and this is Blue Dream. And then if there are any other missing diamonds in the order, I'll just add, um, I'll just add the canvas name and the colors that are missing. And then I've got one document to refer to, to, um, to put in the order for the missing drills. So now, this goes in here, like so, and then it goes into my, my tub. And um, I have all of my 50 by 70s and above in one great big huge tub, and then I've got, you know, the smaller, the 30 by 40s in a tub, the 30 by 40 and smaller in a tub. And I've got the medium size diamond paintings uh, in another tub. And uh, I think I'm going to have to buy another tub or two soon because I have way too many diamond paintings. I'm just not doing them fast enough. Anyway, um, now I am digressing like crazy. So this, my friends, is the Blue Dream 60 by 80 square drill from Uyichia factory store. Um, there's the beautiful rendering of the image. Uh, I'm happy with everything. I mean, the can I, I mentioned the canvas, the fact that, you know, it, it goes pretty much right to the edge of the, um, the drill area goes right to the edge of the, uh, canvas. But, you know, as you see, the back of this canvas is perfect. This here is just for me not laying the, um, the wax sheets down properly because this was not here before. So that's not the glue, that's just the wax sheets that are, or that's just the cover sheets that um, that are not as flat, whoops, as they should be. Uh, and that's my fault. It's nothing to do with the company. I forgot to show you the toolkit. So there is the toolkit. Let's see what we've got. We have a regular one placer. That's a long one. Uh, we have a uh, bent end tweezers. We have quite a few bags there. Hey, blue wax. I haven't received blue wax before. And then we've got just one of the regular little green boats, which I love because I use it for my multi boat holder. And um, so it's perfect. I can't get enough of these. Um, I cannot get enough of these now. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with this. Um, I'm in no rush to start it because I have projects that I have to do for gifts and um, so I'll work on those. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up 
and if you haven't already done so please subscribe to my channel I love my subscribers I love to get uh, ideas from you I do give my subscribers um, suggestions for videos for future um, I give those suggestions uh, preference uh, and priority over non subscribers who sometimes suggest that I do a certain thing um, so absolutely feel free to either put a request for a video in the comments or send me an email the address is down below I would love to hear from you so anyway I hope you have a marvelous day and uh, take care bye bye